Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another terrific Tuesday, January the 10th, 2023. Today is, and this is part one of episode 956. And this one we're going to be learning about justification. Our beginning passage is Genesis 7 1, which this video will also be included in the. Uh, Genesis Journey playlist. The uh, card will be on the end of the screen at, at the end of the video. And all from Henry M. Moores. So if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. Liking the video will help the video out in many different ways. And remember the like challenge. There are five numbers in NASCAR, in my favorite NASCAR group. Four are cup numbers, and then the other, the fifth one is the one of the two um, numbers from the Xfinity cars, the lower class, and the, the other number is a is a double zero, so I can't use that number. But the rest of the numbers, I would like to see um, five of each number on each. Of my playlist, the Daily Devo and the Turning Point, five of each on the playlist, at four likes only. Five of each at ten likes only. Five of each at fourteen likes only. Five of each at forty-one likes only. That's the cut numbers, and then uh, five of each at ninety-eight likes only, which is the Xfinity number. It has another number, but it's double zero, and there's no way of using using that as a number, a like number, a number to shoot for. So, but I hope you do hope you consider doing that. If you come to a video, it's got four likes, leave it. If, it, if you come to one that says ten, leave it. Fourteen, leave it. Forty-one, leave it. Ninety-eight, leave it. So if it comes to one of those numbers, you see it, go to another one. If not, like it to get it to that number. But then, just the other other videos, just let it go. If it's over so many numbers, then let's try to get to that next number in the thing. So. But if you do that for me, I will appreciate it. But subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach that birthday goal, April the 18th, of 100 subscribers. That's one thing I want for my birthday this year, is to be at 100 subscribers. So if you would do that for me, I will greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me reach that goal. So without further ado, let's talk about justification. Genesis 7-1. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for, for thee have I seen righteous before me in the generation. So this is the first mention of the great doctrine of justification in the Bible. That is being seen as righteous by God. The same Hebrew word is translated just, J-U-S-T, in Genesis 6, verse 9. Noah was a just man. So the reason why Noah was seen as a righteous and therefore as just or justified before God was that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, uh, Genesis 6, 8. And there's also there's a song out there by the uh, that I heard from um, the Statler Brothers, which the the, the lead singer's gone is in heaven now, but it, it's been for two or three years now. But I was listening to the uh, Cathedral's uh, fair uh, Cathedral's group their farewell concert, and they got up there and sang a song. Well, that was the song they sang. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And, and, and I don't, don't know the rest of it, but that's the only part I can remember. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. 
but it's a pretty good song if you you look it up on I, I may be able to look it up and put the video at the end of the uh, put the video card for that video at the end of the screen if I can find it but if not look it up yourself and if I can't get it then look it up yourself you may be able to find it somewhere <clears throat> but that's always a, a fun song so this is the first mention of the word grace in the Bible the first mention of faith or belief is also associated with justification Genesis 15 6 Abraham believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness so thus justification is by grace through faith in the Old Testament and certainly in the New being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus and also being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ and that's Romans 3 24 and 5 1 and being justified freely is 3 24 and being justified by faith is 5 1 so and that Romans 3 24 is that verse right after for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God <laughs> amen so justification that is being seen and proclaimed as perfectly righteous even in spite of past sins must of course be authorized by God the Creator Romans 8 33 it is it is God that justifieth that God can indeed be both just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus Romans 3 26 and it is entirely based on the substitutionary death and bodily resurrection of Christ who conquered death being now justified by his blood the Lord Jesus Christ was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification so that being now justified uh, Romans 5 9 and was delivered for our offenses 425 so now although we are freely justified by grace through faith um, such justification inevitably generates good works also and lastly for that for my works a man is justified not by faith only James 2 24 so there you have it being just and righteous is holy But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And that card will, hopefully that will be on the end of the, there will be a card for that video on, at the end of the video. So but that's all I have for today. <clears throat> Coming up tomorrow in episode 957 part 1, tomorrow morning, for another glorious hump day Wednesday, January 11th. We're going to be talking about the next The Series video and number 135 with The Battle is the Lord's. 1 Samuel 17 47 is our beginning passage, all compiled from Henry M. Morris. So stay tuned to that. I'll, I'm going to do something different. I'm, I don't feel like I can go three videos for today for today's videos of recording them right now so I'll um, record today's videos and then I'll record tomorrow's videos later tonight so I usually do Tuesday and Wednesdays together at the same recording them at the same time but I'm just not I don't have enough energy to do the six videos to, at one time I'll record tomorrow's videos later tonight. So, but it is what it is. But, but stay, but stay tuned to that. I'll get to that later tonight. But you'll see that tomorrow morning after seven. So, 
With that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust the God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do. <coughs> Excuse me. In 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back later, hopefully after one. And we'll be talking about. Excuse me. We'll be talking about part two, episode 956, and the God who redeems. From Glenn Pacquiam, derived from Isaiah 43, 1 through 7. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But you'll see that later, hopefully after 1. So. <clears throat> so with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see y'all later. <laughs> but until later, me and baby Yoda, we out. He's back. <laughs> but me and him, we out until later. <laughs>